Roger Federer, Robin Soderling reveals how Federer would have beaten Rafael Nadal to no one inch. Federer ended the season as world no two after winning two Grand Slams but couldn't catch old foe Rafael Nadal in top spot. Despite winning more ATP events, 7-6, Federer was unable to make up the ground on the Spaniard. Nadal played far more often, as shown by his 67-11 win record to Federer's 52-5 for the year. Roger Federer took a break in the middle of the season, missing all the events on clay, to make sure he was in top shape for the rest of the year but it gave Nadal a clear run in and around Paris. Federer finished just 1,040 points behind Nadal for the season, meaning one more tournament could have made the difference. And Soderling thinks despite finishing second Federer was the best player through the year. When Federer played his best last year, no one could match it. Not even Nadal, he told Ossipan.com. Rafa finished the year world number one, but if Roger would have played the clay season he would have finished as number one. Both players are expected to be back in action at the turn of the year as they prepare for the Australian Open from the middle of January. And Soderling is backing Federer for a 20th Grand Slam title but name check Sandy Murray and Novak Djokovic as potential threats. He added, I wouldn't be surprised if Novak and Andy do well, but I think Federer.